you to do alone. This is where we want you, my God. Where you break cords, my God. Where you break chains, Lord. We say thank you, Lord. We give you glory, Abba Father, for this youth of PCA Kisaria, Lord. For each and every member of PCA Kisaria, Lord. For each and every vessel, my God. Each and every wisdom and knowledge you've given, Lord. For us to be able to know you, Lord. For us to be able to sit by you, my God. Thank you, Lord of glory. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God, for leading us through the week, my God. At a time, Lord of glory, we were filled with deception, Lord. We were filled with weakness, Lord. We doubted your wonders, Lord. We doubted your works, Abba Father. Right now, we want to repent, Lord. We want to repent of every sin, Lord. We want to repent, Lord of glory. Cleanse us on you, Abba Father. Fill us once again, we come on your name. Fill us once again, Lord. Fill us, Lord, with your Holy Spirit. Do not banish your presence from us. Mika Koreba Haneri Kayana. Rakos Karaba Haneri Bayane. We say thank you, Lord of glory. You are the breaker of God's Lord. You are the breaker of chains, Lord. Makari Bayaneri Kazobayana. We say thank you, my God, for the doors that you have opened, my God. We have someone in the lost souls, Lord. We have someone in each member. Mire Kentereba Hane. We are favoring PCA Kisaria News, Lord. You are favoring our summons, Lord. You are favoring your children once again, Lord. We are seeing you afresh, Lord. We are witnessing you afresh, Lord. You are feeling us once again, Lord. You are opening more doors, Lord. Doors of marriages in PCA Kisaria, Lord. Doors, Lord, of glory to minister your word, Lord. Doors to open favor, Lord. Doors to serve you, Lord. Doors of finances, Lord. Doors, oh my God, of jobs, Lord. Of learning, my God. Of school fees, Lord, of glory. Of wisdom in class, Lord. Of wisdom in schools, Lord. That we may be able to serve this nation, Lord. We say thank you, Lord. We say thank you, Lord. The favor that you bestowed to Esther, my God. That is the favor of PCA Kisarian Church today, Lord. Being on 20th, Lord. We are witnessing that favor right this minute, my God. That is why we are saying thank you, Lord. That is why we are saying thank you, my God. Raise us up on the Lord of glory, not knowing the direction, Lord. Today, the Esther's favor is our favor, my God. Here in PCA Kisaria, being our upper room, Lord. We are receiving you afresh, Lord. We will not be scared sons, my God, but we will be sons of the Most High, my God. That God we know, our Father, we acknowledge, Lord. We say thank you, Makere Bahandi. We say thank you, Lord. Hey, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. For today you chose this day, Lord, to break all the cords, Lord. To break all the darkness surrounding your sanctuary, Lord. To raise us with fire once again, Lord. To raise us, Lord. More than you, it's okay. It's okay. Marohogai. Marohomaya, my togai. We say thank you, Lord. Thank you for enlightening our paths, Lord. We give you all the glory, Lord. We say thank you, Lord of glory. Today our eyes are brightened, Lord, because of you, my God. As we stand here, Lord, we are summoning the lost souls, Lord. The lost souls in this church, my God. We are summoning them by names, Lord. They are coming back to this church, Lord. This upper room where, Lord of glory, we got knowledge of you. Oh, yes, Jesus. We say thank you. We worship you. In Jesus' name we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, and be thy name. The kingdom come. The will be done on other cities in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you, the praise and worship team. This time we are going to stand up and pray for the offering. Can you stand up and pray for the offering? Our Heavenly Father, thank you for the gift of the offering, Jehovah. You have given unto us, Jehovah, my God Almighty, that every work that will be put unto Jehovah, my God, may it to be glorified and to Father, you are ministry, Jehovah Almighty. We worship you and we praise you, Jehovah my God. May you expound our bounds, Jehovah my God, and bless every hand, for we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. We are going to hear our both readings. First reading, Samuel 25, 5-25, and the book of Esther, Chapter 2, 1 to 10. Our first reading comes from the book of First Samuel, chapter 25, verse 5 to 25. And I commence. And David sent ten. And David sent out ten young men. And David sent unto the young men, Get you up to Karamel and go to Nabal and greet him in my name and thus shall ye say to him that live in prosperity peace be both to thee and peace be to thine house and house be unto all that thou hast and now I have heard that thou hast shares now the shepherds which were with us we hurt them not either was there out missing out of them, all the while they were in caramel. Ask the young men, and they will shoot thee. Wherefore, let the young men find favor in thine eyes, for we come in a good day. Give, I pray thee, whatsoever cometh to thine hand unto thy servants, and to thy son David. And when David's young men came, they spake to Nabal according to all those words in the name of David and ceased. And Nabal answered, David's servants and said, Who is David? And who is the son of Jesus? There be many servants, and now are days that break away every man from his master. Shall I then take my bread and my water and my flesh that have killed for my shearers and give into unto men? whom I know not whence they be. So David's young men turned their way and went again and came and told him all those things. And David said unto this and to his men, Get ye on every man his sword. And they get it on every man his sword, and David also get it on his sword. And there went up after David about four hundred men and two hundred aboard by the staff. But one of the young men told Abigail, Nabal's wife, saying, Behold, David sent messengers out of the wilderness to salute our master, and he railed on them. But the men were very good unto us, and we were not hurt. Neither missed we anything, anything, as long as we were conversant with them when we were in the fields. They were, all, they were a wall unto us both by night and day. All the while we were with them keeping the sheep. Now therefore, now therefore know and consider what thou wilt do. For evil is determined against our master and against all his household. For he is such a son of Belial that a man cannot speak to him. Then Abigail made haste and took two hundred loaves and two bottles of wine and five sheep ready dressed and five measures of Patched coin, and a hundred cluster of raisins, and two hundred cakes of figs, and laid them on asses. And she said unto her servants, Go on before me, behold, I come after you. But she told not her husband Nabal. 
and it was so as she rode on the ass that she came down by the covert of the hill and behold David David and his men came down against her and she met them now David had said surely in vain have I kept all that this fellow hath in the wilderness so that nothing was missed of all that pertained unto him and he hath requited me evil for good so and more also do good unto the enemies of David and if I leave off all that pertain to him by the morning light in it that peace against the wall and when Abigail saw David she hasted and lighted off the house and fell before David on her face and bowed herself to the ground and fell at his feet and said upon me my lord upon let this iniquity be and let thine and handmaid, I pray thee, speak in thine an audience and hear the words of thine handmaid. Let not, my Lord, I pray thee, regard this man of Bel, even Nabal, for as his name is so, is he, Nabal, is his mind, is his name, and folly is with him. But I am thine handmaid, so not the young man of my Lord, and whom thou didst send. I'm Moses Kito and I'm saved. Praise God. Our second reading comes from the book of Esther, chapter 2, verses 1 to 10. Esther, chapter 2, verses 1 to 10. And I read. After these things, when the wrath of King Ahasuerus was appeased, he, remembers, he remembered Vashti and what she had done and what was decreed against her. Then said the king's servants that ministered unto him, Let there be fair young virgins sought for the king, and let the king appoint officers in all the provinces of his kingdom, that they may gather together all the fair young virgins unto Shushan, the palace, to the house of the women, and to the custody of Hegi, the king's chamberlain, keeper of the women, and let their things for purification be given them, and let the maiden which pleaseth the king be queen instead of Vashti. And the thing pleased the king, and he did so. Now in Shushan the palace, there was a certain Jew, whose name was Mordecai, the son of Jair, the son of Shimei, the son of Kish, a Benjamin, a Benjamin, a Benjamite, a Benjaminite. Uh, verse 6, who had been carried away from Jerusalem, with the captivity which had been carried away with Jeconiah, king of Judah, whom Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, had carried away. And he brought up Hadassah, that is Esther, his uncle's daughter, for she had neither father nor mother, and the maid was fair and beautiful, whom Mordecai, when her father and, her, and mother were dead, took for his own daughter. Verse 8, So it came to pass, when the king's commandment and his decree was heard, and when many maidens were gathered together unto Shushan the palace, to the custody of Hegai, that Esther was brought also unto the king's house, to the custody of Hegai, keeper of the women. Verse 9, And the maiden pleased him, and she obtained kindness of him, and he speedily gave her her things for purification with, with such things as belonged to her. And seven maidens, which were, which were meet to be given her out of the king's house, and he preferred her and her maids unto the best place of the house of the women. Verse 10 and the last one. Esther had not showed her. Esther had not showed her people, 
nor her kindred, for Mordecai had charged her that she should not show it. I, the reader, my name is Newton Kerige, and I'm born again. Thank you for taking us through. May God bless you. Now we are going to stand up and sing hymn number 108. Hymn 108. Praise the name of the Lord. Let us pray. Everlasting Father, we say thank you for this wonderful morning that you have granted unto us, O God. We uplift and exalt your name, Jehovah Master, for there is none else like you, Lord. Jesus, we say thank you for gathering us in one accord so that we may hear and hear further from you, Jehovah Master. Lord, I'm just a vessel. Use me, King of glory, Lord, Father. Increase as I decrease, Abba Father Lord, not by might, nor by power, but by your spirit, O God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, do we pray and believe. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It is another morning that the Lord has granted unto us, uh, being the 20th day of the month of June. We are halfway of the year. Praise the name of the Lord. And we have, uh, we have uh, something to tell the Lord because for the Father that he has brought us. Praise the name of the Lord. Uh, we are going to turn directly to our readings and to our first reading that was coming from the book of 1 Samuel chapter number 25. And today topic we are going to be dealing with understanding our position or taking our position. Praise the name of the Lord. 
taking our position. Praise the name of the Lord. In the book of First Samuel chapter number 25, we are reading of a story of a woman and a husband and also the king of Israel, that was David. The Bible is say, saying that there was this man called Nabal. Nabal was a rich and uh, he was known to be rich. Praise the name of the Lord. And as we know, David was known to be the king of Israel. Praise the name of the Lord. Abigail was the wife to Nabal. The Bible says very clearly that Abigail was also wealthy and she was a woman that was, she was, uh, she was a wise woman. Praise the name of the Lord. Those are the characters that we are getting from this woman called Abigail. Praise the name of the Lord. And Nabal on the other side, we are getting a character that his name meant to be foolishness. Hallelujah. So the name that, that uh, Nabal's names meant foolishness, to be foolish. So everything that he could do, he was not doing with all what we think that he, everything that he used to do or the decision that he used to make, he used to make mistakes. Praise the name of the Lord. And it came to a time that King David and the servants of Nabal were taking care of the sheep in the wilderness. And the Bible says very clearly that David ordered the, uh, his servants or his soldiers to take care also Nabal's sheep. Praise the name of the Lord. And the Bible says it came to a time that Nabal had called for a festivity that he used to share what he had the wealth that he had to his servants. And the Bible says that when David heard that, that is what Nabal was, say, was doing. He sent his servant and he told them, go to Nabal and tell them, and tell Nabal to give me my share because I participated in protecting your wealth. Praise the name of the Lord. And David is telling the servants, go by the name David has sent you. David was a known man. David was a familiar man. Praise the name of the Lord. And the Bible says when the servants went, in the verse 10 it says, we can read if you are there, you can say amen. amen. If you are not there, say God help me. <laughs> verse 10 says, and Nabal answered David's servant and said, who is David? These are the servants that have been sent by David to go to Nabal's Praise the name of the Lord. And this is what Nabal is saying. And Nabal answered David's servants and said, Who is David? Remember, this is a man who is responding the way he was to a king. Praise the name of the Lord. Most of us, we need to watch out our turn. It can cause many things. It can cause us to miss positions and opportunities. Praise the name of the Lord. Even it can cause us not to enter into our destinies. This is what Nabal said. And the Bible says, the men that David has sent, they went back and they told David, this is what Nabal has said. And, now, and David said, we cannot keep our swords where they are supposed to be. We must go and revenge for what Nabal has said to the king. And he prepared his servants to go and revenge to this man called Nabal. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says very clearly that there was this servant, that one of the servants of Nabal had what the king, uh, Nabal said. He went running to Abigail and he told Abigail, this is the time that you are supposed to present yourself as a, as a wisest woman in our nation. Praise the name of the Lord. Because this is what the servant, there was servant who had been sent by David and your husband has responded the way he wanted. It was irritating. Praise the name of the Lord. And the king was preparing, that was King David was preparing he was in on his way going uh, uh, to Nabal's place and he wanted to make and to cause a revenge because of what Nabal had said praise the name of the Lord and the word of the Lord says very clearly that Abigail she was a wise woman 
She did not keep silent. And hence, we have remained silent. That's why we are being oppressed by many things. At times, when we have remained silent, that we cannot rise up and pray and tell God, we are tired of these things that are happening. Abigail saw the calamity. She saw what was coming to their nation. She did not remain silent. At times, we are suffering because of our silence. Praise the name of the Lord. We must break from silence and speak out what is affecting us. I like this man called Bartimaeus. When he heard that Jesus was walking, he did not remain silent. Because he understood his position. He was blind for many years. We can remain silent and remain blind for many years. And we lack the opportunities that we have been seeing. But when we speak out, let me tell you, brothers and sisters, something is going to happen. If Abigail could have been silent, all the generation from Napa's side could have been finished. But she realized now, my husband has made a mistake. I need to resolve this. I need to bring reconciliation between our family and the king's and the king. Praise the name of the Lord. Because David was not a joke. What he meant he used to do. He was a man that was accompanied by the power of the Lord. He was an anointed man of God. Praise the name of the Lord. And we see that Abigail is taking uh, loaves of bread. He is taking a lot of meat. And he's taking a lot of grains. And he's taking, a, and, uh, he's taking some of the servants. The Bible says very clearly that he went to David. Praise the name of the Lord. And they are meeting with David. And one thing that Abigail did, when he saw the king, he bowed down and he said, My king, may you live long. He started praising the king because they knew they were in a mess. King, the king was coming to destroy all the generation of Nabal. But Abigail understood now, I need to understand the language that the king can understand. I need to undergo with the language that the, this king will understand me. There is a language that we have to approach the king of kings. There is a language that we need to go to the king of kings. It is not every language that is permitted to go to the king. There is a certain language that we used to use. If you understand that, say amen. amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. You know you cannot just speak aimlessly to the king. If today President Uhuru Kenyatta gives you a chance to speak to him, you cannot just utter words. You cannot just take, or just speak to speak. Praise the name of the Lord. If that is English, you cannot just speak to. Those who are still schooling, you are going to forgive me. Praise the name of the Lord. Because you know this is a king. And he has given you the opportunity. Praise the name of the Lord. You have gotten favor to sit with the king. You have to watch your words. You have to say, you know what you are saying. You have to be in a way that you know what you are saying. Praise the name of the Lord. And the, this Abigail, who later became the queen... Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says very clearly that when he saw King David, she bowed down and he said, May you live forever in Israel. May you reign in the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says that, and now he presented the gift to the servant. This is what I brought to your servants. And now the king was cool. The anger of the king went down because she understood the language of meeting the king. There is a language that we need to have when we are approaching the king of kings. There is a language that we need to have when we are going to our father that is God. Otherwise we are going to miss. Otherwise we are going to be confused. Otherwise we are going to lose a lot of things. Because we don't understand the language. Abigail stood on her position and she understood this is the language of the king. And the king said, I have accepted what you have given to me. 
And now I'm not going to do what I intended to go and do. Praise the name of the Lord. I don't know how many people are going to stand in their position in their family. People who have been seeing things, you have been seeing calamities. You know, Abigail presented an attitude or a state of a being an advocate. Praise the name of the Lord. A person who stood on behalf of many people. The Bible says that now the Spirit of the Lord, who is our advocate, Nimtetezi wetu kwa baba. So we cannot access to the Father unless we have our advocate. We don't know how to pray, but the advocate, the Holy Spirit of the Lord, help us in our weakness to approach. No one will never tell you that I have a degree in prayer. No one will claim that we have a PhD in prayer. All the things of the Lord. We have to have that assistant. And that is the spirit of the Lord. That take us. It is like a fuel. Praise the name of the Lord. So when we have the advocate. Who is the Holy Spirit. Remember. In the book of Joshua. Joshua. When they were coming from captivity. He was a successor of Moses. The Bible says very clearly, it reached a time that the Lord spoke to Joshua and he told Joshua, make some fleet knife and circumcise every male and they shall remain in the tent until they get healed. Praise the name of the Lord. What, had, what did it mean? You know, the children of Israel are coming out of the captivity. Jesus came and delivered us from the captivity of sins. Now, where are we heading? We are heading to a place called the promised land. Where is our promised land? It is uh, the heaven. Praise the name of the Lord. And that's where we have gotten the title called salvation. That came through Jesus Christ. Who was saved by the Father. The only begotten Son. He came and he died because of our iniquities. That we may have life and life in abundance. Now, look at this. These people... The children of Israel, they cannot, they cannot enter the promised land unless they are circumcised. Now, we cannot enter the promised land unless we have the advocate, the spirit of God. Are we getting it? Praise the name of the Lord. Unless we are circumcised, they had to get healed in the tent. I was telling one of my brother that you cannot get circumcised today and ride a bicycle. And ride a bicycle. Praise the name of the Lord. I remember. This is my testimony. I remember when I got filled by the Holy Spirit. I was in a mission somewhere. Somewhere in Chinganyeri. Praise the name of the Lord. And we were just worshipping the Lord in a mission. And I was just lifting my hands. And I was waiting and I told God, God, this is your time. And I found myself crying and I thought, I am stupid. I'm, I think I'm lost. Why am I crying? Why am I crying? Praise the name of the Lord. And it came to a time and I said, let me just cry. If, I, if I'm going to cry, let me cry. Because I'm in the presence of the Lord. I'm in the presence of my Father. Praise the name of the Lord. And I lifted up my hands. And I started telling the Lord, God, thank you, thank you, thank you. The next time I felt the power of the Holy Spirit... And I met myself alone in the church. All the missionaries had gone to the open air. That is crusade. And when I woke up, I did not remember that, you know, that church was not cemented. It did not have tiles like our church. I did not remember to, you know, that, uh, that place is central has the red soil. Eh? I did not remember to... Could I to add Kujipanguza Rakizengereza? Yeah? Yes, to dust myself. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. So I went directly to the, to the open day and I was telling the mission coordinator what I'm feeling I need, to be, I need to minister today. I was feeling the power of God. I was telling him, just give me a chance to minister and tell these people what I'm feeling. Only to realize it was the time that I was circumcised. I could not be allowed to ride a bicycle before I was there. 
Praise the name of the Lord. And most of us went. And you know, you can get hurt and go back. And it is so hurting. So Joshua is being told, make some fleet knife and circumcise all the male so that they can enter the promised land. What have we been left? God the Father. You know, this work in three. That is in the book of First John, I think chapter number five. God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. They are. The Father came. He sent the only begotten Son. And then the Son left us with that. Then where, where is the Spirit taking us? To the Father. Back to the Father. Praise the name of the Lord. So, the three work in one. And they agree. They testify. The blood, water, and what else? The fire. Praise the name of the Lord. So, when we understand the language of the king, we can never miss opportunities. We are going to redeem even the things that were supposed to happen. Today, even the nations, even the church, when it, did, when it stands in their gap, in a position of being an advocate, an intercessor, a comforter, and a helper, that are the key things that make an advocate. An intercessor, the one who intercedes on behalf. How many people will fast and pray on behalf of any other person? The Lord is looking at people who have seen calamity like Abigail. Calamity that have fitted hard the nations. And they are going to say, we are not going to keep silent. We are going to intercede. We are going to be people who are going to stand on behalf of the nation. And that is what the Lord is lacking. Intercessors. People who are going to stand. People who are going to be selfless. Selfless. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. And we have just read in the book of Esther. My time is going. And I wanted to lay a foundation. Remember Esther was an orphan. Where she is coming from. And this one was orchestrated in the word of the spirit. That she could be the one of the queen. Now. Is it Haman. Who was the governor. He wanted to finish. All the Jews. Praise the name of the Lord. And the Bible says. Mordecai, when he knew what was happening, he sent some letters and told Esther, this is the time. This is the appointed time that the Lord has given you. It is either you are for us or we are going to be finished. If we are going to take our position, we are going to be selfless. The Queen Esther told, go and tell all the children of Israel, go and tell the Israelites, that they have to fast for three days. How are we going to take our position? Our position is going to be made by prayer and fasting. When we pray, we get power. When we fast, we get authority. Praise the name of the Lord. The only thing that we can access in, in prayer, it is power. We get energized. But when we fast, authority comes. We stop things. You know today I can sign something and somebody can ignore it. But when the president signs something, every person is going to respect it. Because he's the president. But when I have the authority and the power, when I sign something, it is going to be passed. And that is where the Lord is taking us. Esther told them, if I'm going to lose, it is this time that I'm, some, I'm not supposed to approach the king. But I have to fast for three days. You, and I'm going to make all my maid servants to fast. So that I can go to the king. And the Bible says he, uh, he go favor in the sight of the king. Praise the name of the Lord. When we are praying for favor, brethren. When you have been asking God for favor. There are two things that you are supposed to ask yourself. Have you prayed? Have you fasted? Don't just pray for things because you have had things. 
I pray for favor. Favor. Praise the name of the Lord. We need to stand in our position. Today, as a church, when we stand in our position, we are going to win. The calamities that we are seeing, we are going to win. We are going to be like Abigail. We understand the language of the king. We are going to be selfless. We are going to be like Esther. People who are going to groan and pray and wake up at midnight and thank God because of the nation of Kenya. Not because of the things that are disturbing them. You have seen drunkenness. You have seen young people dying. Are you taking the position? This week we have been discussing with, one, uh, with my friends. We were just uh, getting this from the Bible. You remember the man in Decapolis, the person who was possessed by demons. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says that when Jesus went to the other side of the lake, he's meeting this person. And this person started manifesting. The demons started manifesting. You know, Jesus said, greater is the one who is in you than the one who is in the world. And Jesus is promising us many things. That let me go and whatever you saw me doing, you shall do even greater. So the manifestation of demons were not confronted by Jesus. It is only his presence that confronted the manifestation. Praise the name of the Lord. And that is the power that you are supposed to work with. So the demons started making a lot of noise. Remember that person? They tried to bind him, to tame him. But he was so strong. The power of the demons that was inside him, he used to cut himself. Praise the name of the Lord. And the Bible says, the spirit of that man approached, that, uh, approached Jesus. And Jesus is casting out the unclean spirit. And he's asking, what I, is your name? And that spirit is responding, my name is Legion. And they are saying there are two over 2,000 demons in that man. Hallelujah. And Jesus is setting that man free. And he's casting the demons to the, to the pigs which were later drowned into the seas. Hallelujah. The Bible says when they met the villagers or the people who are living there, when they met this person was clean. They told Jesus go away. Jesus lived our community, lived our village. Can I tell you one thing? At times we may be forbidden and rejected to enter into places. Not because we have not obtained favor in the sight of the Lord. It is because of what is in us and the environment cannot. So they started telling Jesus, you have to leave this place. And Jesus left. No, because he was not the son of God. He was anointed son of God. And he was highly favored. But he was told to leave. At times we are thrown and we think it is rejection. It is because the spirit that is inside us cannot agree with the spirit that I am there. Praise the name of the Lord. And this person... I was just getting this. He became the first apostle. He became the first minister of the word of the Lord before even the impartation of the Holy Ghost. You know, the other disciples had, had to wait the impartation of the Holy Ghost so that they can go into the world. This person is following Jesus. Jesus is telling him, don't follow me. Go to your areas. Go to your friends and your brothers. Tell them what the Lord has done for you. And he said, I'm going to start in Decapolis. So he became an evangelist. He was an anointed man of God. Even before the day of Pentecost. Praise the name of the Lord. Let us rise up as we ask God. We need to stand in our position. We have seen danger. We have seen calamity. You have seen something that is not good. That is coming into your family. Every time when you are coming out of school. No one is getting position. No one is getting a job. And you are saying it is my time. To approach the king of kings and, and, and redeem what have been lost in the name of Jesus Christ. Lift up our hands before the Lord. There is something maybe you have seen in your area and you are saying, oh God, 
I need to stand in my position. Every time I'm crying pain, pain, pain. Yes, Lord. Lift up your hands before the Lord. Worship the King of Kings. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father, Lord. We glorify your name. We honor your name. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. Just worship the Lord. Something that you have seen. In the book of Job, chapter number 33, verse 14, the Bible says that he speaks to his servant through dreams, vision, giving them instruction and warning, yet they cannot heed. Some people you have been revealed about the future that you are entering. But you see barriers. You need to stand in your position and say no to barriers. Stand with the promises of God that can never fail. Stand in the promises of God that are true. We give you all the praise. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, O God, we worship you and we glorify your name, Father, this morning. We say thank you, Father, for speaking to us in standing our position. Maybe our forefather, Lord, Father, made a mistake, O God, and calamity hated us hardly. Lord, we are repenting of their sins. Lord, the children of Israel repented. They reached at a place and they lamented and said, Lord, they haven't seen, but they are bearing the iniquities of their father. Lord, we thank you, Lord, because you sent your son, Jesus Christ, to redeem us, Father, from evil and sin and iniquities, Jehovah, Lord. Deliver us, Father, from generation curses. Deliver us, Father, from every negativity who has spoken to our destinies and spoken to our lives in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Spirits of the Lord have your way right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, power of the Lord, yes, in the name of Jesus Christ, we receive our deliverance today. We receive our deliverance today. We are not going to be oppressed again. We are not going to cry in slavery. It is time, Father, for our manifestation. It is time, Father, for our manifestation. The Spirit of the Lord is here. Yeah, the Spirit of the Lord is here. The anointing of the Lord has just fallen in a powerful way. And the Lord is setting some people free in our midst. People who have been limited for a long time. People who have been careful. Somebody pray, somebody pray. Something is happening in our midst. Some people have cried for a long time because of their destiny. Their destiny has been twisted for a long time. Every time they are supposed to enter into a place, they cannot enter. 
something just happened it is a time for the lord to deliver them the anointing of the lord is over you in the name of jesus receive your deliverance right now receive your deliverance right now in the name of jesus be set free in the name of jesus The Spirit of the Lord is grieving and He's saying some people have been in pain for a long time. They have been crying for a long time. <laughs> Somebody worship the Lord. <laughs> some people have mourned for a long time. The Lord is setting them free. The Spirit of the Lord is here to set them free. The anointing of the Lord. Let us lift up our hands for the power of the Lord is working in our hands. People have cried for a long time and the Lord is setting them free. The anointing of the Lord is flowing like katasata bahane. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, touch them wherever they are in the name of Jesus. Father, touch them and set them free, Lord. For your spirit is the spirit of liberty. Where you are, Father, you set people free. I alabasata mahando baboshia kete sato badi gando babosi tabada gansa masete bakaso padera lepeta zinta bida dahane sato mahanda. People have been set free in the name of Jesus. The freedom, the liberty of the law. People are enjoying the liberty of the law. The spirit of the Lord is here in the name of Jesus. Be set free. Be set free. Be set free. Be set free. Be set free from the bondage. In the name of Jesus, from captivity and slavery, in the name of Jesus Christ, be set free in the name of Jesus. Receive your freedom, receive your freedom, receive your liberty. Your liberty is now in the name of Jesus. It is now in the name of Jesus Christ. Sato Baganda Babushia. The Lord is setting us free. Freedom. Liberty. Freedom is coming. For a long time we have been limited. For a long time we have marked time in our position. Thank you, Holy Spirit of the Lord, for your doing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Maybe you are there, you are saying, I want to give my life to Christ. You are saying, I need to give and to surrender my life to Christ. Just lift up your hand, just be bold. Lift up your hand as we pray together. You are saying, I need to give my life to Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit of the Lord. We honor and we bless your name. This is what the Lord is saying. The Spirit of the Lord is saying. Like the children of Israel, they are all land, but they used to purchase everything. And they say they had repented everything. And they said, we are bearing the iniquities of our fathers. Let us just lift up our hands as we pray. In the name of Jesus. Father, Maybe our forefather made a mistake. And we are bearing, Lord. Jesus, come and set us free today. Set us free, Lord. In the name of Jesus. For whoever you set free is free and free indeed. We honor and we bless your name. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 
we pray. May the Lord bless you. Can you appreciate our preacher once more? Thank you for your attendance today for the service. We have come to the end of our service today. And may God bless you. We are going to, to rise and share the grace. Can we stand up kindly? May the grace. Uh, we are going to sing hymn number seven. What a friend you have in Jesus. Hey, praise and worship. Can you read us that hymn?